Excellent. Uh, I've explained everything I had to explain about expanding um, those brackets. So three example questions for you to try. So perhaps pause the video, have a go yourself and then look at my workings. Okay, let's go. The first one. So when we are expanding those two sets of brackets, um, I have to multiply yeah, these terms with those terms. Yeah. So what is that going to look like? I do x times x and that is going to be x squared. I'll do x times 3 and that is 3x. So I've multiplied x and 3 by x. So I'm finished there. Then I do a positive 2 times x, that is 2x. And a 2 times 3, both positive, so plus 6. And indeed it says expand and simplify because I have those like terms there in the middle. So x squared plus 5x plus 6. I should get a new mark here because this one is not very clear anymore. I apologize. Okay, uh, let me quickly find a better one. There we go. The next question. 2a times 3a. So that equals 6a squared. Yeah, 2 times 3, a times a, 6a squared. So 2a times 3a. 2a times 1 is going to be, sorry, not times 1, times minus 1. So that will be minus 2a, yeah? a positive 2a times a negative 1, and negative 2a is the answer. So I've multiplied both terms by 2a, so I'm going to my next term, 4. 4 times 3a, that will be 12a, and 4 times minus 1, so a positive 4 yeah, times minus 1, so minus 4. Expand, yeah, take away the brackets and simplify, combine the like terms, yeah, so minus 2a plus 12a, that is a positive 10a minus 4, yeah? and if you like, that is easier to, for you, 12a minus 2a, yeah? if I turn it around, indeed, is 12a, yeah, 12a minus 2a, sorry, is 10a, okay, finally, 6a, 6y times y, so 6 times 1 if you like, so 6y squared, 6y times minus 2, minus 12y, finish with that one, moving on to the next one, minus 2 times y, minus 2y, and minus 2 times minus 2 is going to be a positive 4, yeah, please take care with your workings, yeah, and those signs especially, yeah, positive 4 minus times minus. Combine the like terms, eh? simplify 6y squared. I have some like terms here, so minus 14y plus 4. Expand and simplify. Good. That was everything you need to know about expanding um, those brackets, yeah? expanding expressions. So uh, make sure you have seen all the previous videos eh? before you started with this one, by the way. And check my site, explainingmaths.com, for more free resources. And you can ask me your question over there. Yeah? I hope to see you later. Like and share this video if it was useful for you. So I can also help your friends. Have a good day. Bye-bye.